Hello, everyone. My name is Jacob Rockwell. I'm a librarian at the Buffalo Central Library, and I'm here today to talk to you about applying for a civil service exam in Erie County. Oftentimes, people are confused or not sure if they're qualified. And I hope after this presentation today, you will feel a bit more comfortable about exploring this as a possibility for your job search in the future. So let's take a look at what is a civil service exam. Well, civil service is a system required by New York state law for the purpose of filling and maintaining positions in local governments formulated on a basis of merit and fitness. So these are job openings in the, uh, either the local level or the county level that um, they basically test your fitness for it, whether you meet the, the minimum educational guidelines or uh, experience guidelines. And they test this by giving you an actual test. So they require an exam where your scores will determine your placement on that given test. When can you apply? Well, typically each month, there are a number of exams posted on the Erie County Civil Service website. And from there, you can browse through the guidelines. And if you find that you're qualified, you should submit an application to be considered for the exam. We'll go over this in a second. We'll explore some openings right now and see, you know, maybe you're qualified for them. If not, I'll give you the pointers you should look for to ensure that you meet the qualifications. And it should be noted that exams for each job title are never offered more than once per year. And lists can be good for up to four years. So keep that in mind if you, let's say, you want to apply for a clerk exam. Well, if the exam was held three months ago, it may be oh, quite a while until it's open up again for you to take yourself. So we will explore that. But where do you get this information? Well, you go to www.erie.gov backslash employment. And we will go there now and explore what is actually on that website. All right, so we are on the Erie County Civil Service Opportunities website. As you can see, we have the Commissioner of Civil Service here. Um, it's, I wanna note this, this will is something you can sign up for to be notified of new exams when they're added to the website. It's very simple, you just enter your email address here, make sure subscribe is clicked and save, and you will automatically receive emails notifying you of new exams that come up as they are offered, essentially. So it's a good resource, so you don't always have to keep running back to the website. It'll come right to you in your email. So first, let's check out uh, some of the features here. We have frequently asked questions, how to apply, jobs, local agencies, study guides, much of the same here as well. Um, first, let's check out the frequently asked questions. Uh, we already talked about what is civil service, where can you find civil service exams? Like I said, the website, or you can sign up and have it delivered to you. You could also call civil service and you could also go downtown to their office. They're located in the Rath building and they're there Monday through Friday from 8.30 until 4.30. Um, you can also view canvassing activity. That means um, if they've started hiring people from the list, see where you might fit on any given list at any given time. You can be notified of upcoming exams. How to apply, we'll get into that in a second. What is cross-filing? That essentially is if you are taking multiple exams on each day, there's a sp specific form you have to fill out for that. How much does a civil service exam cost? Well, most exams cost $20, some cost $30, and some are only $15. So you're gonna wanna check on each given posting for information, and I will show you where you can find that on a posting. Um, can applications be accepted past dead deadlines? They're pretty strict on that. That's usually a no. Sometimes you're disqualified because you don't meet the requirements. You can apply to appeal it, and there's a process for that as well. Um, so this uh, deals with if you work part-time, how does that work for full-time experience? Sometimes they ask you to, to submit application, or I'm sorry, transcripts with your applications. That gives you guidelines there. It tells you what happens after you apply for the exam. Well, it says that basically you'll be notified within 10 days of the exam dates of whether you're qualified or not. 
you receive your exam results for three to six months following the exam date. So this should be noted when you're thinking about applying for a job, it's not going to happen really quick. So if you take an exam, you're gonna wait up to six months for the post for your, your scores to be posted. And then from there, it could take even longer for you to find out and get canvassed and uh, get offered an interview for something. So it's a good thing to plan for in the future, but don't apply for an exam thinking you're gonna get a job next month because oftentimes that just isn't the case. Civil service rule of three, that applies to the rank of your scores. And it gives you a good explanation of that here. It's kind of a confusing thing. I won't bore you with that now. You can contact them if you need more information on that. Um, who hires from the civil service list? Well, you've got Erie County Departments, Erie County Medical Center, Erie Community College, Erie County Home, Erie County Water Authority, BOCES, as well as any town, village, school districts within Erie County. So your ability to get hired is very broad based on the uh, departments that are out there. What will be on the exam? Um, I will go through that in a second. It shows you on each posting what you could expect to be tested on. For study materials, um, they, I will show you where that is on the website. We also have a wealth of information here at the library. You could certainly come here and get that. We'll, I'll cover that with you in a second as well. Uh, these are general questions. What happens if you move? Um, are there positions that do not require a test? And that answer is yes. These include exempt, labor, and non-competitive tests. Um, yeah, well, I'll go through that in a second. There's a place you can find that on the website as well. And finally, are there residency requirements? Most exams require that you live in Erie County. Some towns and villages might ask that you live in their municipality as well. That will be on the posting. All right, so let's move on with the how to apply. We'll click on that link. And basically like any job, you need to fill out an application. And that is right here. You click on application and forms and application for exam or employment. And basically it opens up to the job post uh, for uh, the exam there. It's, you know, a comprehensive list of what makes you qualified for the job. If you don't, you can, if you don't want to print it off the website, you can come to any library and we have printed applications for you there. Just ask at any service desk. There's also an application fee waiver. You can uh, use that if you are on public assistance and can't afford the amount. You just have to fill out that form. We've got a name change form, cross filer form, disqualification appeal form. Um, those may not apply to you, but it's worth noting. All right, so let's go back here. Um, payment info, it guides, it tells you where to send your payments, where to send your waiver. You can pay in person, um, or you can also pay with a credit card as well. All right, so let's go to jobs. And so this is where you will find all the information. Um, what you can do is search all job openings and you just click on that. And they'll give you a list of everything that is currently open. And that includes all of your exam types. So we've got promotional, open competitive, or continuous recruitment. But let's break that down a little bit more. Let's go back to jobs. Let's first look at exams currently being accepted. So these are the jobs that are currently open right now for people to apply for. And we've got promotional, which means you have to be working within that department to be eligible for it. So these are for police. If you're not a, uh, currently a police officer, you're not going to be qualified for these exams, obviously. And we have open competitives. So these are open to people who aren't currently working in the departments. Let's check out this one, water and waste treatment plant operator. All right, so this is a, a trainee position. So this is a pretty uh, wide exam that almost anyone could take. Salary, well, that varies depending on the municipality you're working in. You could, they started accepting applications on July 2nd, and then they are stopping on August 11th, and the application fee is $20. So let me scroll down a little more. It tells us about residency requirements. 
Um, this is where you'll find information on, I believe this one basically asks that you live in Erie County. Um, then it gives you an example of what your duties will be on the job, what you can expect to be doing on a daily basis. And then qualifications tells us what, um, what are the minimum qualifications for taking this exam. And for this one, it's graduation from high school and our vocational school or our high school equivalency diploma. So that's open to almost anyone to take. And then special requirements, they ask that you have a class D driver's license. So as long as you have a license and a high school diploma, you're probably qualified to take this exam. All right, then there's some notes here. All right, so it notes here that the examination date, the exam will be held on September 18th, 2021, and applications must be received by August 11th. That means postmarked or hand delivered to the office. And then we scroll down a little farther, it tells us the subjects of the exam. So these are things you can expect will be on this test. Uh, questions on these six topics. Now, to, for most exams, there are study guides created for that particular exam, and it will include all of these components. However, some exams don't have these components. And if you come to the library, we might be able to piece together the components to give you a, a study guide using a number of materials. It should, we should also note that we have a wealth of study guides here available at the library that you can apply, uh, you can use for your, uh, your research and preparation for taking the exam are available for checkout as long as you have a library card. And if you don't, you can acquire a library card at any of our 37 locations as well. Um, just some more information that tells you again where to send your application forms. If you're a veteran, you might get some credits. So you might get extra scores for being a veteran. And yeah, other information here, it's worth checking out yourself. Go back to the jobs. Um, then we have uh, continuous recruitment. Now these are, ex are these are jobs that probably don't require an exam. And we'll tell you here that they're, they're continuous recruitment, no exam required. And basically, as long as you fit the minimum requirements for these jobs, you fill out the civil service exam, send it in with your application fee, and they will rank you almost immediately, within within reason, uh, on the eligible list of people who can apply. So here we can see, uh, let's, let's click on this one, paramedic trainee. And so it tells us continuous recruitment, 39 to $47,000 per year. Application fee is $15. Check out the minimum qualifications. And then you basically send that in and you will be notified if, you, if you're qualified and it's worth you know taking a shot on if you meet the qualifications. All right, job postings. So these are vacancies within the other departments. So these aren't civil service, they don't require exams basically. So these are open within other Erie County departments, um, worth checking out. Like for instance, contact tracer is a big um, job right now. And you can apply for that by clicking on the link and following through with the process of an application. Exams pending, so these are exams that have been offered but were past the filing dates. These exams will be held on August 7th for all of these different titles. All right, and it's good to know what has been offered and what might be offered in the future. That'll give you a good guide to see. All right, so um, these are additional resources. Um, you can go to these websites. These are other county agencies, such as the library, Erie Community College, or ECMC. Um, the, you can find information perhaps on other jobs that are open there. It's also worth noting that the cities of Buffalo, Tonawanda, and Lackawanna have their own civil service exams. Um, so it's worth checking out their individual websites. New York State offers their own exams and uh, New York State United States Office of Personnel. These are topics for a different time, obviously, but um, they all have their own similar processes. And then study guides. These are study guides that you can use to prepare yourself for your civil service exam. It's, um, so basically, let's say you're taking a caseworker exam. 
click on the, the caseworker and it gives you sample questions on types of questions that will be asked on the exam. So it can help you prepare for it. As you can see here, this was on the caseworker and these are the three areas of, of topics that they will be asking you about. Um, these, are, these are abbreviated, obviously. There's not a ton of questions here, but if you come to the library, we've got a number of study guides and they can give you entire sample tests. So it's worth coming in and checking out what we have. And uh, obviously it's free with your library card. So we have a whole bunch here. You can, you know, access it at home. And so let's, let's head back to the homepage. All right, so that is pretty much uh, my outline of the Erie County Civil Service website. I hope this gives you information and will make you feel more comfortable for potentially applying for exams in the future. Uh, there, most civil service jobs offer great benefits and retirement packages. So it's worth checking out. If you meet the qualifications, give it a shot. If there's any way that we at the library can assist you in this process, let us know. Our phone number is 858-8900. We could sit down and uh, book a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, book a librarian training with you. Or we could just help you find the study guide that you need. We're always here to help. And we hope that you, uh, you know, reach out to us and check out our resources. Once again, thank you for joining us today and uh, tuning into this presentation. And I wish you good luck on your job search. Thank you.